Okay, and we are back for part two. Um, thanks again for those who commented and rated. I'm pretty sure the first thing you're wondering is why is my weapon uh, a different, has a different glow on it? Is because they actually just came up with a patch recently, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and try more runes. Unfortunately, they only switched them down to two runes now that you can actually engrave onto your thing, so I decided to use this one. Uh, let's see if I can find out what this one says from this. The Rune of Razor Ice. That's right, and that's a um, it's a frost damage dealing ability. Okay, so when we last left off, we needed to talk to the Lich King so that we could use his eye thing for reconnaissance. Although it's uh, quite funny, actually. It really doesn't call it reconnaissance, or you really can't call it reconnaissance, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Complete quest, accept. Here's the reason why you really can't call this reconnaissance. It's because it's a humongous eye. You know, kind of easy enough to see out there in the middle of a city. Alright, so this thing's going to go by itself for a while. And you basically have to take four points. The uh, You have to research four points. The Forge, the Inn, the Town Hall, I think it's the Inn, no, Scarlet Hold. Um, Scarlet Hold and then the last one being... You know what, I just lost count, so Scarlet Hole, uh, Scarlet Hold, Forge, uh, Chapel, and Town Hall. I hope you guys enjoyed that huge mess up. My speech impediment. Okay. Okay, got it. Oh yeah, and this thing can die, so you gotta make sure it doesn't get killed by the time you're finished with everything, so... Hover over this. Hit the one button to, uh, search it. Okay, and then the last is the chapel, which is over here. Oh, interrupted by accident. Chapel of the Crimson Flame. And quest completed. Right click this to get out of the eye. As soon as it gets out of the... Oh gosh. That's what I get for turning down all that other stuff. Okay. Talk to the Lich King. Complete this quest. And now your next quest is to talk to uh, Mograine. Mograine is in the Citadel and he is below. He's on the first floor. So... Come over here, use this teleporter. There we go. And as soon as the lag, you know, stops kicking in. There we go. Talk to Mograine. Complete that quest. You'll get your neck piece from that. And then, basically, just turn around and go to the Griffin Rider. Oh yeah, and you also gain a spell that increases your speed while you're here in the uh, in the Ebon Hold. So charge up to this guy. Complete quest. Except the next one, the next one, you gotta go down to Death's Breach and start the rest of your quest. And this is where you'll start getting your bonus talents. At least I believe. I don't think I got any from before. Or I'm not gonna check now. I don't think I'm gonna go through any of those quite yet. Okay, talk to this guy, get this quest completed, and then it'll unlock three other quests for you to take. This one here, and I uh, think a few other ones. You know what? Let's go ahead and get our mount first. Wow, perfect demonstration of the mount right there. Okay, talk to this dude, Grand Theft Palomino. <laughs> Accept the quest. And what you need to do is you need to go down here and steal a horse. Bring it up here to the horse rider and turn it into him. Unfortunately, this guy moves, and uh, on a 300 by 200 screen, it's going to be kind of hard to find him. So let's just run down here real quick and get one of these horses and bring it back up to him. I'll have to be careful with uh, aggro here. Morgan. 
Mortal Kombat. It's kind of hard. I gotta make sure everything is uh, just right for this whole thing to work. Not really. I mean, if anything happens, then uh, it'll just take another part to complete. But other than that, all right, jump on this horse and get out of here. You can take any horse; it really doesn't matter. What's gonna matter is the next quest. Alright, this is where I'm gonna be. Where is he? I can always just wait right here for him to come back. See if I can find him first, though. Head's out of range. Basically, you have to hit the one button to turn this into him. Oh, here he is. Do that. It's now his. Go over here to this dude. Complete your quest. And there's your first bonus talent right there. Alright, and then the next part here is going to send you into the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Go Yugi. No, just kidding. My voice gives me super strength. Alright, here we go. Uh, this time you've got to kill one of the Death Charger uh, warriors down here and take his steed. Let's see if I can also test out one other thing here later. Uh, I think multiple people can be in this place as well. Oh yeah, that's another cool thing. What you just saw right there was a uh, battle maiden, and uh, basically, cool thing about this uh, death knight thing, while you're here, if you die, those things will come and resurrect you instantly. Okay, so there's one. See if we can find one of our own real quick. There we go. Hopefully there won't be any other minions in our way. Use death grip to uh, bring them straight to you. Oh, there we go. Why did I not see this coming? Let's see if I can kill this guy quickly without dying here. Oh, I don't know if I'll make it. No, I think I got this. There we go. And we're going to take a hit here. Unless I can actually kill him in time. Who knows? I might actually be able to do it. No, nah, I don't think I got this. Then again, I am regenerating health, so... Oh, there we go. All right. Hop on this, and right out of here. And as soon as you get up here, activate Horseman's Call. To bring him up here. As soon as he sees that you've got it. He should take you back, and your horse will go away. Now you just got to find him real quick. He should be over here. There you go. You can now ride your minion. The, uh, the thing about this now is that if you want to find your mount, you can go under here. And there it is. Click mount, and you will be able to use your death charger. 100% speed, pretty much your epic mount. Alright, this concludes part two. Uh, I'll see you guys later in part three.